Rachel, what more can you tell us? We've had an update uh, really in the past few minutes from the Metropolitan Police and I'm glad to say it is broadly good news or as good as it can be uh, at a crime scene like this. They've told us the 11-year-old girl will require hospital treatment but her injuries are not believed to be life-threatening. That's the first update really we've had as to her condition and the second victim who we know was a 34-year-old woman they're saying suffered more minor injuries. So that is obviously a, a positive development coming from the Metropolitan Police and they've also told us again just in the last few moments that what happened here earlier this morning is not believed at this stage to be terror related but that that doesn't take away from the very real sense of terror and horror that would have been felt in one of the busiest parts of central London on, of course, one of the hottest days of the year. This area packed with tourists. It still is around me here. You'll be able to see many hundreds of people filling Leicester Square. And it was here earlier this morning where this attack took place. Police saying a man has been arrested and is in custody. He's thought to be the only suspect. Now, we've been speaking to a few witnesses who were here at the time in the late morning describing being how uh, a man attacked the woman first, this 34-year-old woman, and then seemed to have got the young girl. Remember, we're talking about an 11-year-old here in what was described to Sky News as a headlock uh, before stabbing her repeatedly. Absolutely horrifying scenes. We have been told, though, that two people, two people either who worked in the area or who were here in the area at the time, managed to get this individual down on the ground and restrain him until the police were able to arrive. The square we know in the surrounding area... 2.5 million visitors every single week. This is the area where we've got shops. We're in the heart of Soho Theatre Land. So this is a really popular area. We don't know any more about this 11-year-old girl or the 34-year-old woman. But as I say, we know they were then rushed to a major trauma centre and both of their injuries are believed to either be minor or not life-threatening. You'll be able to see the cordon here still in place, police guarding uh, quite a small area considering what happened here, but there is still a large part of the square itself cordoned off. We had a statement through earlier from London Ambulance Service, a spokesperson saying they were called here at 11.36 in the morning to reports of a stabbing at Leicester Square. They say they sent resources to the scene, including an ambulance crew, an advanced paramedic and an incident uh, response officer. They say they dispatched members of their tactical response unit as well. They treated a child and an adult at the scene and then took them to a major trauma centre. And as I've said already, one man has been arrested. Police saying they believe he is the only suspect they're looking for at the moment. And crucially, this is not currently thought to be terror-related.